I've known this guy probably 27 or 28 years. I've lost count, it's a long time. Rupert Guinness, he's no stranger to videos on Ride Media. Today, oddly enough, after hundreds of bike races together and many stories uh, unfolding over the years, we're going for our first bike ride. Seems odd given that cycling brought us together, don't you think? It is, isn't it, after all those years. And uh, we've been talking about it week after week and it never happens and finally we said, this week we've got to do it. Wednesday night came and I texted Rob and said, mate, tomorrow I'm going to do, which is today, coming into the park in the afternoon. Centennial Park and we've got a glorious day, haven't we? We picked it well, yeah. I have to say. So I thought we'd just do a quick little video about Roop's bike, because this is the one that uh, features in Overlander, the book of the year, apparently, in <laughs> cycling, in the cycling realm. And uh, in other words, this has done uh, a lap and a bit across Australia. Yep, one lap. It's not a lap. No, it's, it's a crossing, a crossing one of Australia. And uh, just uh, as bike riders do, we were just waiting for the next person to turn up for our ride and he started talking about the bike. And I thought, well, let's tell the complete story. This is the Curve Belgy Spirit and I was just saying to Rob before when I got back onto it after riding the road bike how it really felt like getting into a lounge chair you know and uh, trust me I spent a lot of time in the lounge chair and I know a lounge chair when it's there but she got me through one and a half uh, uh, crossings of the Indy Pack course and uh, really is a really comfortable bike and uh, you can ride it uh, on gravel you can ride it on mountain bike off uh, dirt track uh, terrain you may not win a Criterium in Heffron Park on it, but I wouldn't win a Criterium in Heffron Park anyway. But she's a beautiful bike, um, and it's just a pleasure to ride. It's a, it's a curve, it's titanium frame, it's got uh, SRAM Force disc brakes. You said it's about four and a half grand if you bought it retail. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You have to check on the on the uh, pricings at Curve for that, obviously, and it depends on what you want on it as well, like any bike. Uh, but it's really, uh, like I said, all purpose, but uh, you know, value bang for your buck because you can use it in so many uh, terrains of of cycling, and uh, it's just a great adventure bike as well. You know, I've got a lot of fond memories with her. Um, it's very comfortable. Feel a bit more sort of upright than on a normal road bike, and the handlebars are a bit wider as well, and. Uh, uh, she can go over anything. When you're going, let's call it Indie Pack, mm -hmm. your Indy unofficial Indie Pack, yep. what did you look at the most? Did you look at the bike? Did you look at the, the horizon? Did you look at your pedalling action? Did you look at your stem, your grips? Or where, where was your sights fixed? Well, it's actually a good question, Rob, because obviously on Indie Pack, you've got a lot of time. <laughs> to look everywhere so in all seriousness I you know uh, obviously I enjoyed the terrain you know and what's in, got to pay attention to what's in front of you what's coming up behind you uh, whether it's traffic and also animals uh, that are out there um, the beautiful sunrises and sunsets in the mountains particularly in the Kosciuszko National Park and the Victorian Alps you know you've got to you know soak up the uh, the panoramic uh, uh, views around you on the bike itself so uh, you know you do look at the you know it's set up differently because I usually have the tri bars here uh, coming out here which I use the tri bars um, quite a lot but not too much uh, it was more like a, they offered a, a, an alternative uh, position to have you know for such long distances it's good to have another alternative position uh, they also became a good appendage for anything else that you want to have on whether it's uh, you know extra water or clothes or food just strap it on gaffer tape it on I also had the packs on as well, the, uh, underneath the handlebars here, the Apertura packs would come under here, here, a little one here, and one coming out here. Uh, that was probably about 10 kilos of extra weight. Um, but you do look at, you know, like with anything, you know, you look at the gears and how, how they're rolling over and when you're getting that nice smooth cadence, or as smooth as I can get it. Uh, and also checking that there's nothing uh, caught up in your systems um, because uh, whether it's you know, sticks or, or bush uh, 
you know, when I had this cleaned after my first indie pack, you know, we found snake skin on the uh, on the uh, rear tyre, which I didn't even know I ran over a snake, so obviously I did. So there could be anything to get caught up there. Uh, Pedal of choice is Crank Brothers. Now, what are they? Yeah, look, they're, um, I got them online for, I think, about 35 bucks. They're recommended to me because I use the Rafa mountain bike shoes. These ones here. Why I use the Rafa mountain bike shoes is because uh, on Indie Pack there was a lot of um, you know getting off and on, walking into uh, into uh, road houses and shops. It gives you a chance to sort of not sort of uh, wear out your cleats and also to make too much noise. And so it's sort of like a bit of a shoe rather than a cycling shoe. Yeah. So that's so that's why I had these uh, these pedals because um, they fit into that. I also another thing um, the lighting system uh, K light uh, the lighting system which I haven't got on now, I've just got an old battery one here, but there's a, um, a hub here, um, which uh, is a dynamo hub, from which uh, I usually have cables going up here, and the K-light system is attached here, so I can uh, have lights, the front light generating all the time, and also I have a USB system in there, also attached to the dynamo hub, so I can keep my uh, mobile phone recharged or any other sort of gizmos. Ah, so that's how you kept your dot tracking device, otherwise known as a GPS, alive yes, and exactly. running all of the time. All the time, yes, it always kept running all the time, and uh, uh, and that was just thrown onto the back of my pack here. But uh, and you can also recharge other battery packs along the way. It's a bit of a juggling act, you know. You got to go through your processes of keeping your lights recharged, keeping your phone recharged, realizing I've got to swap them over and things like that. But that gives you things to do during the day. A lot of little menial tasks, but they keep your mind off the suffering. Okay. Well, let's get out and go for a ride. Yeah, maybe a beer after. <laughs>